here at the pond uh, at Beach Bend Park. And uh, Victor is going to escape from the straitjacket here in just a few minutes. We're just waiting for the boom truck. Oh, how are you really feeling? Uh, kind of nervous. But I'm very happy that I'm going to do this for my very first time. 50 feet in the air, is that right? I'm not sure. 50 to 60 feet. How does your stomach feel? Feel. feel like I just, I just rode the Starship 4000. Starship 4000, you mean you just feel like you came up a speedy ride? Yeah. So your tummy kind of hurt? Yeah. My tummy doesn't kind of hurt, really, really hurts right now. And you think mostly it's because of nerves? Yeah, kind of, yeah. But are you excited about this? Yep. I mean, if you do this, you're going to be uh, probably the youngest. the youngest guy ever to do this. Yeah. What do you think about that? I'm going to be part of history. Part of history. So what do you think of this, uh, like, um, straitjacket escape going on? I think it is so exciting to see a 10-year-old boy take from a bucket truck and escape, attempt to escape a straitjacket. I hope he can do it! What up? So what do you think of this straitjacket escape that's going to happen in a few minutes? Straitjacket escape? I'm pretty sure he's going to do it in less than two minutes. What do you have to say about this escape? Well, I think the best outcome would be if Victor fell down. That sounds really fun. What do you think of this um, straight jacket escape Victor's about to do? It's crazy. There is a bucket truck. How are you feeling? Good. Uh, last night you didn't too, too, do so hot up on the... Uh, when he was down on the ground, able to do it, but when you were upside down, you had difficulty doing it. Do you think you've practiced enough now? Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Don't give up. All right, but you can really try and get that thing around your elbow. You can. Come on, use gravity. Use gravity. It's what? Use gravity. 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 So it's pretty, it's, it's, it, there's nothing in there to grab onto. All right, so there's no gimmicks. I'm going to give away a secret. When magicians do this, this part right here in the hand, in the arm, it goes in and out. It creates slack with magicians. So basically what happens is they hold on to a little ring inside of there. 
which she's already testified you can't reach anything in there. And then they release the ring and it gives them slack. He's not using that. He's using a legitimate straitjacket. The reason I have you up here, Cody, is it? The reason I have you up here is you're going to do the. Uh, you're going to be the one putting them in it. Tight as you can make it. Cody asked me, how tight do we want it? As tight as we can make it. Remember, this is my child. By the way, parents, what I'm doing is called entertainment. If you try this at home, it's called felony. So if you really want to strap your kid up.
you scared? At first, like yesterday. Yeah, not anymore. When you were up in the air, as they were lifting you up, did you get any scared at all? No. I when I looked down at my daddy, he looked like an ant. Did everyone look like ants? Yeah. Was it cool that so many people showed up? Uh-huh. How many people do you think showed up? 150 people? Really? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, good job, buddy.